Okay, in this video I want to show you a quick uh, little trick on how to make a transparent uh, texture for a particle system for Second Life. So this is a technique I like to use. It's very it's very easy to use and not very complicated. So basically you create your, your image uh, 1024 by 1024 pixel. That's the, uh, that's the max Second Life can accept as a texture. And let's say, okay, I'm going to do a copy of my background like this. I'm going to just want to, I, I want a full layer like that. And I'm going to draw something. Uh, well, first I need to, to, to do it in black. So control I to get a, a black image and I'm just going to draw something in white. Uh, let's say pure white because I want, I just want something really, really simple and white. Uh, I'm going to dry, uh, I don't know, something like that happy face all right so what you do is the first thing i do is i um i had a, a background color just to help me to see if my uh image is, is well cut so i just had a kind of a green background color you select your layer where you want to uh, isolate the black from the white you go on a layer layer style and blending option and in this in this blending option, you have a feature called blend if gray. So this is a very interesting feature, very quick. So this so if you click on the little widget here, it will remove the black from the uh, the background. So just playing with this, it 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 remove most of it. But if it's too sharp, you can go more smooth by selecting half of it and pressing Alt key on Windows and just start dragging this. So it will create kind of a more shadow transition. It will leave still some black, but I mean, it's I feel it's more smooth this way. So that's that's the trick. And when you're happy with it, you unselect your background and then there you go. You get your uh, your transparent image. All right. I hope you like it. If you have any question, please put some comment on the bottom of the video. Bye bye.